the majority of these students will not be able to exercise their franchise in the referendum, as they are not of voting age. But the historic events being rolled out have everything to do with them in the future. This vote leaves a legacy for generations, an opportunity for them to fully enjoy the independence and the gains for which their forefathers struggled many years ago. And so the arguments continued against the Privy Council, an institution as eloquently put by non-resident ambassador to Mexico, Gail Christian, far removed from our people. It is at this juncture that I want to say to you that an independent judiciary that administers and dispenses justice with integrity is critical to a sustainable democracy. As citizens and residents, we must always be comfortable. We must always feel sure that we can rely on the judicial system for fairness and impartiality. Otherwise, the very democracy upon which our supreme law, upon which our constitution rests, will be threatened. Like Ambassador Christian, Minister of Social Improvement Samantha Marshall is also a lawyer. Lessons shared provided some excellent opportunity for learning for the students on the history of the Privy Council and how a migration to the Caribbean Court of Justice is simply the right thing to do. It is important because one of the principal objections raised about changing from the Privy Council to the Caribbean Court of Justice is the fear of political interference. But those who so frequently raise the fear of political in interference in the CCJ never draw attention to the fact that in the final analysis, the members of the Privy Council's Judicial Committee are appointed by a, pol a politician, and in that case, the Prime Minister of Britain. A delegation of students from neighboring Montserrat were also in attendance. So too was the island's Deputy Premier and Minister of Education, Delmore Ryan. Montserrat is still a colony, and so is still way off from the steps Antiguan Barbuda is now taking. Nonetheless, there was an appreciation of this important developmental stride. Nelson Mandela also states, education is the only thing that can change your world. And with this brings the freedom, the freedom for you to be able to change and make a reality for your country. The reality to change is in your hands. Some of the young members of the country's legal fraternity in separate sessions continue the arguments for the CCJ, keeping the attention of a packed House of Restoration wrapped throughout the day. The students were encouragingly enthusiastic in a question and answer period that saw prizes being awarded courtesy event sponsor INET. The committee that made arrangements for the youth forum was chaired by Senator Shinella Govaya and Delibird reporting for ABS News.